Greetings, champions and fans! Welcome to Microbes Mondial, your ultimate guide to staying healthy while enjoying the excitement of the 2024 Paris Olympics. Today we're talking about a tiny bug that's causing a lot of trouble. Dengue fever. So, let's dive in. Do you know what is dengue fever? Dengue fever is a viral infection caused by one of four dengue viruses. They're like a team of troublemakers, related, but each with its own tricks. Catching one doesn't mean you're safe from the others. So yes, one can get dengue fever more than once. Talk about a persistent virus. How does it transmit? Dengue fever spreads through the bite of an infected Aedes mosquito, particularly the Aedes aegypti. Think of these mosquitoes as tiny vampires. Only they don't wait for sunset. They're daytime feeders, sneaky and silent, making them tough to avoid. Can dengue fever be transmitted between people? Hold on, here's an important fact. Dengue fever is not directly spread from person to person. You can't catch it by shaking hands or sharing a drink. The virus needs the mosquito to move it from one person to another. So the real troublemakers are those pesky mosquitoes. Heard about the current outbreak situation? Hold on to your hats, there's been an outbreak of dengue fever globally, and France is no exception. Recent reports indicate a noticeable increase in cases, particularly in warmer regions where these mosquitoes thrive. Paris, with its summer heat, could be a hot spot. Symptoms of dengue fever Dengue fever symptoms are different for each person. They can be mild or severe. They can include fever, headache, pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, feeling tired, sometimes for days to weeks, rash, this can be flat or have small bumps, it might be itchy. A rash is more common in people who have not been infected with a dengue virus before. Stomach problems such as nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Cough, sore throat and stuffy nose. The throat might look red. Small purple spots on the skin or bowel movements that look black. Red eyes, swollen glands. Children and younger people often have less severe symptoms. People who had dengue fever in the past and get infected with a different dengue virus have the highest risk of severe symptoms. A person with severe dengue fever might have bad belly pain, get bruises without bumping into anything. The person might also have small purple spots on the skin, vomit blood, get nosebleeds, have black bowel movements, have seizures. A person who has a seizure might pass out or move or behave strangely. For example, they might shake or fall down, have bleeding between menstrual periods in females. Should you see a doctor? Absolutely. If you come from or visit a dengue-prone area and have symptoms, see a doctor. They can do blood tests to confirm if it's dengue or another pesky virus like Zika. In high-risk areas, doctors might skip the test and start treating the symptoms right away. How is dengue fever treated? There's no magic cure for dengue, but doctors can treat the symptoms. Treatments might include blood transfusions if severe bleeding occurs. IV fluids to keep you hydrated and support your recovery. Certain people like pregnant women, babies, older folks and those with underlying health conditions might need hospital care. Doctors will keep a close eye on them to catch and treat severe symptoms early. Self-care tips. If the doctor says you can stay home, here's what you do. Rest. Become a professional napper. Drink fluids, hydrate like you're training for the Olympics. Take paracetamol for fever and aches. Avoid aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen as they can increase bleeding risk and never give aspirin to kids under 18, it can cause serious issues. Can dengue fever be prevented? Yes, avoiding mosquito bites is your best defense. Stay indoors, especially during the day. Mosquitoes hate air conditioning and screens. 
Wear protective clothing, long sleeves, long pants, shoes, and hats. Use insect repellent. Look for DEET or picaridin. Don't use DEET on babies under two months. Use permethrin on clothes and gear. Eliminate standing water. Drain anything that collects water, like buckets and potted plants. A dengue vaccine is available in some areas, but not everyone can get it. Ask your doctor for more info. Risks at the 2024 Paris Olympics With millions of people from all over the world converging in Paris, the risk of dengue fever spreading increases. Athletes, spectators and locals could be at risk, especially in crowded areas and during outdoor events. Recent reports indicate a noticeable increase in cases, particularly in warmer regions where these mosquitoes thrive. And that's a wrap on dengue fever. Stay alert, stay protected and enjoy the Paris Olympics. Remember, knowledge is your best defense. I'm Captain Ace, signing off. See you at the games, and may the best athletes win! Until next time, stay healthy and vigilant! Oh, and before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, InfectionTube. For more health tips and fun facts, let's beat dengue fever together!